World Premiere. YouTube, welcome to my channel, Lena Pop Creations by Gigi. And today I am going to be sharing with you guys my first YouTube video ever, so I'm super excited about it. But before we get into that, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Gina, and I am the founder of Lena Pop Creations. And I decided to do a YouTube channel um, because in the beginning of my journey, I learned everything that I learned off of YouTube and it helped me tremendously to perfect my craft and now I developed a lot of tips and tricks that I can um, share with you guys and hopefully it helps you guys just as just as, as much as it helped me also um, I'm gonna be on this channel what it's gonna consist of I'm gonna be sharing with you how to do balloon garlands constructing them step-by-step -step tutorials um, how to take your basic balloon garland to a professional level and I'm also going to be doing DIY backdrop setups I'm going to be taking you guys with me um, to my events so that you guys can see the behind the scenes and how I do um, how I create everything that I create so I have a lot of great things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys so if you guys are interested in that and you guys want to keep seeing my creativity just please subscribe down below hit that like button and also hit that notification bell so anytime that I upload a video you won't be tardy to the party the first video is going to be a floating balloon teddy bear it is something that I created for an event a baby shower that I did and I want to share with you guys step by step how to create this look in case you guys have a baby shower coming up so i really hope it's helpful to you guys um, for me to show you my tips and tricks on how i created this beauty so without further ado stay tuned and let's get to it all right so these are gonna be the things that you're gonna need um, to make this today so we're gonna be using a hot glue gun i got mine from walmart less than 10 bucks um, we're also going to be using um, my color arrangement is just going to be uh, 12 inch white balloons no I'm sorry 9 inch white balloons and 5 inch white balloons and then also red I'm going with that color scheme red white and rose gold so I'm using 9 inch red 5 inch red balloons and also um, I just I'm gonna just add in some rose gold five inch balloons just sporadically around but the main base is gonna be white balloons and red balloons um, so that's the color scheme that I'm going with right now and also I got these balloons from Amazon I ordered them from different vendors I don't really have a specific vendor that I go with right now for balloons so I just order them from Amazon um, if I see them and I like them some of these I've worked with before and I actually like them so um, this is what we're going with and then we're also going to be using hula hoops to make our ball all right so here we got our hula hoops and let's see this is my first time doing this to be honest with you guys so this is either gonna be an epic fail or a beautiful success we'll just have to see all right so pretty much you're gonna have to just line them up like a ball let's see okay maybe let's do two at a time And then we're just gonna hot glue it. Just add a little bit of hot glue. A good decent amount. Alright, so. 
So we're just gonna hold it there for just a few minutes. I give it a little blow so it could dry up faster. You can also use, I'm using my foot down at the bottom to kind of hold it in place while I'm just pressing down. And that's kind of helping, so. So yeah, you just gotta let it sit for a little. It's not gonna dry right away. So we're just gonna keep holding it there and then come and get another one. And then kind of just bring it in. So, I had a little bit of difficulties doing this ball. Um, they make it look so easy. Um, so, what I figured off camera, I just, um, I decided to do what I did the, the two and I did the hot glue. Um, just make sure that you do the hot glue at the bottom and then just press it down with your foot um, and then hold it there, you know, until you start feeling that, you know, it's getting a little harder and then do the other one, do the same, hot glue the top, hot glue the bottom, hold it with your foot and then do the same with the other, the last one, um, hot glue the top, hot glue the bottom and then I held it in place and then I just used my um, string here. This I bought it from the craft um, the craft area at Walmart. I don't know, maybe like four or five bucks. It's a little, you have to get like a thicker material here. Hold on, let me hold my ball in place here. So you have to, let me see, like a yarn but a little thicker so that it can, and I just tied it. Um, once I had them all together, I tied it to secure it. And then I also did it to the bottom to secure the whole ball. So this is what we have. Pretty ball. Love it. Okay. So it's coming together, it's coming together. I thought I was gonna have a little disaster there, but. Sorry, that's um, Alina. She's getting a little cranky. She hasn't had a nap yet, so. Um, what are you doing? You wanna come over here and say hi? Let's see if she comes over and says hi. Come here, mamas. Come here, come say hi. She runs the show around here, so. Come here. This is my little princess. Ugh. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. You're gonna be seeing me around a lot, hearing me around in my videos. Okay, go play. Okay, she's interested in the ball Let's now. Let's go so. to you, Alrighty, so yeah, that's pretty much what we have here. So this is how we create the ball. I'm gonna set this to the side and now we're just gonna go in and blow up the balloons. 
Um, and we'll get back to putting the balloons on here, but we have to go blow up the balloons now. So I'll be right back. All right. So this is the balloon pump that I've been using since I've started. Um, I bought it off Amazon. I'm going to try to um, link all the materials and everything that I used for my video. I'm going to link it um, in the description box below. So if you want to um, just click the link and purchase the same exact thing that I, that I used, you can do that. So I don't really have a specific way as to how I do my balloons. I just blow them up and I'll show you how I do it give me one second here if I can... so you blow them to full capacity and then I just with my hand let out the air like that and give it it gives it more of a rounder shape so that's that's gonna set it aside for a more professional look is when you press down let out the air because you don't want it to have its full capacity of air they last longer that way um, they'll pop less deflate less and it just gives it more of a rounder shape you could even push them down a little bit more and that gives it a more professional look so yeah, I just, I don't, I just look at it. I don't really have a way of blowing them up. Different sizes, it's gonna work. If there's uh, spaces that you gotta fill in, you can always do that later. So yeah, I'm just gonna blow them up like this. I have red, white, and rose gold. So I'm just gonna continue blowing until I have all of them blown up and then We'll head on to the next thing, so stay tuned. doing this for a client I do have an event that I'm doing um, it's like a baby shower for a Valentine's sweetheart baby shower and this is the color coordination that she wants so it's gonna be red white and a little bit of pop of rose gold is what I'm thinking so Maybe we should start like with the white and we're just gonna wrap it like this. Just put it around and lift it up like so. And then we're just gonna keep on adding them wherever we hey you guys so this is what i have for you guys today this is the final result of all the balloons being on the hula hoop structure and there is some gaps here but what I went ahead and did is filled it up with some more filler balloons if you um, have any balloons that deflate or anything like that maybe during the transition to your event um, just make sure that you bring extra filler balloons and just fill, fill in the empty spots the gaps there and you'll be fine um, so yeah this is what I pretty much have for you guys today um, so I did go ahead once I got to the event I did go ahead and use uh, the a lamp structure 
um, and that's what I use for my balloon columns so I went ahead and used that for this and I just put the ball on top of the the structure and then at the bottom I used weights and then I just started putting white balloons on the on the structure and just work my way out to make it look like clouds I um, zip tied the teddy bear onto the pole itself and I made sure it was on there pretty pretty tight and yeah that's how I created this beauty so I hope you guys love it I love it I fell in love with everything about it I did go ahead and fill it with different types of reds a rose gold um, some little five inches in there so yeah um, stay tuned for my next video.